What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out King Sim, which is effectively Reigns. If you ever played Reigns, very similar game. Uh, it's a game where you run a kingdom, you've got to like manage your various resources. If you run out of them, bad things happen. So anyways, let's dive on in and see how far on into this thing we can get. Alright, my lord. I am your new counselor. I was appointed to this position after you sacked and executed the former counselor. I have some good and some bad news for you. Which would you like to hear first? Which do you think I want to hear first, given the fact that I killed the last counselor right here with my bare hands? Just thoughts to think about. That's all I'm saying is like I feel like you could probably extrapolate and figure out which news you should give me versus which news you should not, you know? Just think about the fact that, like, it took them forever to tell the people that Stalin was dead because none of the, like, all of the doctors on hand knew that they'd be killed if they said that Stalin was dead, so nobody would pronounce him dead. Just think of me like that. I'm that terrifying. I wonder what happens if we execute him. Hmm. Your grace, we executed the previous advisor as you requested. I'm the new one, the twin brother of the previous one. Please don't execute any more advisors. There should execute him too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the king executed his advisor again. Horror rushed through the lands. Yeah, but I look like a badass lich king sitting on my throne, so that's pretty cool. There were no more willing to take the post in the kingdom. The king could not receive news about the kingdom, so it quickly fell into anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I'm sorry chat I'm an animal when I play games like this I'm an app what I've learned about myself is I like to think of myself as like Louis 13th but like I'm pretty sure I'd end up being like Henry the eighth man like I don't know like no one should have that much power I don't know where it would go like some kings are very very good at it my lord, okay, so I already killed the earlier one. Let's have the good news so that I don't have to kill you. The good news is that you, my lord, will soon become the new king. The bad news is that our beloved king has been killed and his palace has been occupied. The country is in chaos. All right, are we at war? Exactly. We need to get ready for the invasion, although nobody really knows when the horde is going to attack. All right, what are our options? My duty is to tell you how to rule successfully. Would you like to learn how to play the game of choice? No, I already know what I'm doing. I've got a rough idea on how to play this just from watching other people play it and also following the uh, development, so. Here we are. Uh, this right here are the various stats that we need to keep balanced and we're going to trade these in order to get certain things. Certain exchanges are going to be better than others. So for example, your villagers might be like, my lord, there's a river running through the midst of the kingdom. Were you to donate supplies, we could build a bridge that would facilitate trade. And so you'd be like, okay, I'm going to do that. And so it'd probably take these right here, which are like materials effectively, and it'd probably give us some gold. And that's how the whole game plays, is you trying to be predictive about what you're going to get versus what you're putting in, knowing full well that some of those trades are going to end up being more profitable for you than others, and take it as far as you possibly can without destroying your kingdom on accident and bringing it to ruin. Here is the first issue on the agenda. The citizens of nearby towns have arrived at the castle gates. They want to found a village close to us in order to feel safe. They say living without a king is terrifying, but accepting new citizens is a great responsibility. Will you let them do it? Yeah, they can do it. The new citizens have founded a village, my lord, and the people are grateful. This has increased our overall happiness. However, some of the food supplies had to be given to the refugees. Yeah, so the things we need to balance is we've got basically like materials here. This is like iron or steel or armor. Basically, this is a completely and totally inquit material right here that represents everything and anything related to like materials and like the war effort. So it can be pretty much anything that you like build with, fight with, so on and so forth. This is our food supply. This is how much money we have. This is how religious our population is. This is how happy our population is. And this right here is how healthy our population is. If you're wondering why this episode is letterboxed, uh, it's actually because the game comes in like a 4x3 format. And there's no way out of that. The game doesn't support HD stuff. It will, it will actually like... It will fill your screen. You can put it in full screen mode, but it's going to be letterboxed when it's on your HD display. So keep that in mind, too. We have some extra labor resources now, my lord. What would you like to build? So we can build a mine, we can build a sawmill, or we can build a marketplace. 
I think a uh, sawmill is not too bad of an option. Let's do a sawmill. A sawmill is going to help us collect lumber when we need some. Don't forget that you can manage the sawmill yourself if you think it's necessary. All right. So we have three workbenches, which need to be moved between rows to process wood by cutting off branches, slicing logs, and constructing furniture. Okay. Using the wrong workbench will destroy the object. You can work at the sawmill once per day. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to trust the steward. I'm going to let him do his own thing because that mini game seems like it's going to be really frustrating. And I don't feel like playing it. <laughs> the sun is going down. Good night, my lord. You had a fruitful day today. Well, actually, we lost food, so I would say it was the opposite of fruitful, but I get what you're trying to say. Good morning, my lord. Some citizens would like to come into your throne room, and they want you to arbitrate their dispute in court. We also need to strengthen our defensive line. What will you learn? Oh, I can choose. So I have a court of law. I can deal with their dispute. I can work towards our communal defense, or I can whip out my balls. Uh, you know... The third option seems like the most fun. However, that doesn't seem productive right now. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, everybody wants to see the kingly jewels. But let's work. They said we're, we're about to be invaded. Maybe we should work on our defenses. How should we prepare for the battle, my lord? Uh, let's buy swords, I guess. I mean, it cost us some money. Uh, we've bought swords, my lord. Even though the royal soldiers are not sure which end to hold, now we are better prepared for the invasion. It's time for a good night's sleep. Sleep well. You worked. Can I do this again? All right, we're going to try the mini game because I know you guys are going to leave comments and be like, why didn't you do the mini game? I'm going to try. We'll try the mini game. Let's see what we got here. So trees go into that thing right there, and then we go like that. And that seems to be how it functions. So that's going to cut it into planks. You go down to like right there, and you go down right, right. Oh, dude, the saw. Eh. Eh. There we go. We'll turn that in. We got that right there. We got that right there. All right. All right. All right. Oh, wrong thing. Up. No. Up. Yep. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So we need that right there. Apparently that thing. Dip. Dip. I can do this. You just got to believe. I wonder if, like, the furniture makes it to the other side. Do I still get paid? Uh, you go right there. You go up to there. You go up to there. You go up to there. Oh, no, dude. I put the wrong thing in there. This is actually kind of hard to keep track of. I feel like the steward might do a better job here. Uh, yeah, I got two gold, so apparently it's definitely a better idea to let the steward handle it. I felt like I did a pretty good job. The game appears to disagree with me. I thought I produced a ton of chairs. Hey, look, we can click on all these buildings, too, and look inside of them. See, so we've got, like, little soldiers standing around. There's our throne room. This guy right here is that little asshole, and I'm just waiting for an excuse to kill this guy. Just waiting for... Dude, I can't have that kind of power. I'd be a terrible person. I would be the worst. I'd be like, mm, the loyal, the royal French fries are oversalted. Death to the chef. <laughs> like it'd be, it'd be, it'd be a real, real problem. They'd be like, my lord, you're the one that salted them. Death to the chef, I said. <laughs> uh. All right, what do we have going on? The sun is shining, my lord. Time to wake up. I have some good news. The sawmill that you ordered to build is born fruit. We should build a fence around the village to protect it. You could also sell the lumber in order to boost the treasury. Or we could build a wooden catapult to protect our castle. Uh, yeah, we could do the fence. That's fine. Yeah, put a palisade wall around the village. That way we can defend it better. Very good, sire. Now it will be quite difficult to attack the village. The people will have a chance to survive. My lord, the scout has come back, and the horde of foreign savages is very close. But we are ready to fight. Our soldiers have clearly or nearly learnt how to take their swords out of their scabbards and the fence you built looks really solid. I know it's not a good time, my lord, but children started disappearing from the town. It looks like there's a monster foraging in the woods. If we don't take care of the problem, we may have some big issues in the future. We could call the Beast Slayer or we could send our soldiers there. What should we do? Um, We'll hire a Beast Slayer, I guess. Good afternoon, Lord. I am Thrald. I hunt monsters. On my way to your castle, I saw a werewolf's traces along the road. Is that why you've called me in order to hunt down the beast? It is. Well, based on the werewolf's traces, it's huge. 
Beast hunters don't work for free, and it's going to cost you a fortune. My lord, the Beast Slayer went to kill the werewolf as soon as he got the money from the treasury. I think there's one less problem to worry about. Like, is there... Oh, you can see, like, there's... there he is right there, the little warrior. He's looking inside the forest right now. Oh, that's cool. So the, the little warrior went out to the forest, and he's, like, looking for bad guys to kill. That's pretty rad. I'm going to trust the steward. My king, Kalahar's... Kalahar Aro's Horde. Is it Ard or Aro? I think it's Aro. The O looks the same. I don't like it when games use ambiguous fonts where, like, the capital I's look the same as the lowercase L's and, like, the D's and the O's look the same. There is nothing more infuriating to me in life than... There, there's nothing more more infuriating me in life than ambiguous fonts. But I don't think it's amb... I haven't seen any D's, though, in this sentence. So, like, we... Day. It's definitely different. Okay, so it's not an ambiguous font. We're good. What will we do? What will we do? Uh, stop panicking, sir. I swear by your ugly sideburns that we will survive this. We need to pull ourselves together, my lord. We still have some time before the invasion. The village is protected by a fence. The people have some time to escape and find shelter inside the castle. I don't think we need to worry about them. The army is waiting for orders, my lord. Uh, defend the castle. I think you've made the right choice, my lord. It makes no sense to put someone in danger when we know there's enough room for everyone inside the castle. Shall we order to fully defend the castle? Yeah, do it. Evacuate the citizens and send the archers to the walls. We're ready to... Okay, we're ready. It looks like they're going to storm the village. All we can really do is wait. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah, there's the army right there. It looks like they're moving on up. I like how we got like some stylish battle music too while we watch our super awesome village get pooped on. Uh, most villa peasants managed to escape from the burning village. All that's left of the buildings is embers. Nonetheless, many people have lost their homes and a few have lost their loved ones too. Hopefully we have enough armament score to beat these guys. The soldiers at the castle were killed serving their country. Oh no. Greetings to the lord of these lands. It was quite hard to reach you. Many of your fine warriors were killed, and your fighters earned their respect in battle. However, you were wrong when you decided to fight me in a fair fight. Learn your lesson in the next life. The spirits of the... I feel like they default killed me right there, because I watched somebody else play this, and he had like 75, and it only took 60 from him, and he survived. Is it like slightly randomized? The spirits of the Shadowlands are pleased. From now on, Kalahar will be the only one who decides the world's fates. Will you end your life with dignity like your fighters did, Lord of the Land? Alright, farewell, Lord of the Land. That's fine. I'll just die silently, I guess, because that's what's expected of me by the game. There you go. We died, and our head has apparently been crudely affixed to a spike. Fantastic. Not a word was uttered by the king right up to the moment where the great Kalahar pierced his head through with a stake. He didn't even kill us first before he put our head on a spike? There's no point in that cruelty, man. You already won, dude. You already won. See, this is why I don't like horse archers right here, man. This is why I don't like them. They just no sense of dignity and fair play. It's all showmanship, showmanship, showmanship with them. All right, so we got a new counselor. We're going to have to play it. Yeah, just go with the good news again. That's fine. I'm not too worried. I probably should have done the bad news just for variability's sake, but like, eh. All right. All right, so the fact that the country is still at war. The royal palace is ruined, so you can't really go there. We need to get ready to defend our own. Okay. Sounds good. Panic! My duty is to tell you how to rule successfully. Would you like how to learn how to play the game of choice? No, I'm good. All right, I feel like you have to die the first time you play the game. That's my guess, is because like I knew for a fact that I needed to have 65 or more armaments in order to beat the army when it came in, and we had 70 something and we still got wiped. So I think you have to die the first playthrough. I think you don't have a choice, which like, I don't really like Deus Ex Machina like that, but you know, for, expo for expository, uh, for exposition's sake, I suppose I can see the reason why it's a thing. And here's the first issue on the agenda. So they want to hang out here. Yes, they can build a village right over there. That's fine. Build a village right outside. It's probably going to get burned and destroyed. I'm sorry for that, but that's the way that it goes. Uh, let's go with a marketplace this time. Why not? The market will boost trade in the region. will give us an opportunity to engage in commerce and collect taxes. Oh, nice. The sun is going down, big guy. It's looking awful low. 
All right, good morning, my lord. They would like to come to the throne room, and they want you to arbitrate their dispute in court. We need to strengthen our defensive line. Let's go to court. Oh, my great lord, my name is Thomas. My wife has taken me money. More children and me mansion. Now she lives with Bruno, the minstrel. I demand justice. All right, so, uh... I mean, so... The wife wandered off the reservation. I get that. Um, that's not great. That's definitely, I mean, sucks to be you. I, I am empathetic to your struggle, but I don't see how this is a situation that requires the arbitration of a king. I'm a king, bro. A king. This seems like, at most, something for, like, a lower local appellate court, all right? You are right as always, my lord. Thomas, you can leave now. You will not get your children, your money, or your mansion back. Next. Exactly. The king is always right. Uh, let's see here. Countess Delover and Count Sopristan are here for a fair trial. They want you to hear them out and arbitrate a dispute. Good afternoon, my lord. I am Countess Delover. Here is the reason why I have come. Since the very foundation of my house, goat had always been our family's crest of arms, and Harold had always been our main goat and the heart of our cattle. As far as I remember, ever since I was a little... Once again... I don't know why you're bothering a king with a question of goats. Chivos. I don't need to deal with this right now. But when we ran out of money, we had to sell the goat. Count Sopristan bought it. And now he refuses to give it back to us, no matter how much money we offer. Your Highness, may I? I am Count Sopristan, and I bought the goat. It was a fair bargain. Goat Harold is a really great goat. So how, now the goat is mine by law, and in all conscience, I'm asking you to hold that the goat is mine. I will generously support the crown if you make the right choice. Yeah, Silverstand, man. I'm sorry. There's like a there's a libertarian corner of my heart right now that says like, hey, if you didn't want to get rid of the goat, you shouldn't have got rid of the goat. You should have found another solution. There's nothing I can do to force you to honor a return on something after the fact. It's a goat, man. If you didn't set up and shake hands on an amicable goat return policy. You got the problem that you got. All right, Soapy Stan is happy. The sun is shining, my lord. It's time for you to wake up, and I've got some good news. Our market is attracting overseas traders. We can buy anything we like from them, be it weapons or sweets from across the sea. Yum. Would you like to go for a walk, my lord? Let's have a look at the market. All right, let's go for it, man. I feel like my market's probably pretty baller. I'm excited about it. Well, you're going to weep having a look at the prices. Don't buy anything unless it's an emergency. So apparently prices are very, very high right now. I don't have a lot of money, but we do have a lot of food. We also can sell some religious artifacts if we wanted to. I feel like that sounds like an okay idea. We can get rid of some religious artifacts. I don't know if I can talk to any of these guys. We got weapons and armor over here. Yeah, let's take that up by a little bit. My lord, the scout has come back and the horde of foreign savages is very, very close. Uh-oh. So let's maybe get some more. Let's do that. I hope heaven will have mercy on such a right-minded lord as you. I didn't want to disturb you, sire, but our fears are confirmed. We have some new problems. They started with petty theft and stole things from the peasant, but those thieves managed to steal Count Soperstan's family jewels. Rumor has it that they are the ones who rob our caravans, our cowravans. The newly built market and trade have aggravated the situation, my lord. The thieves' camp has to be located in the woods, and we need to quickly think of something to solve the problem. What do we do? Battle! Murder them! We can send our soldiers to search the castle, or we could put a bounty on their heads. A reward for their heads. Uh, medium amount. Your Highness, it looks like the plan has failed. The bounty offer wasn't high enough and the headhunters weren't interested. No matter how much we spent on the poster's design. I don't mean to complain, but I have a really nasty feeling about this. Esteban heading a crowd of thugs are breaking through to the castle. Moreover, someone has blocked our garrison. Esteban will still be here. The help of Soperstan! He fled from the castle as soon as he heard it was in date. Damn it. All right, well, we killed Esteban. It was our message. The thieves will keep a low profile for a long time now. Well done, my lord. Yeah, but now we don't have anything to fight the horde with, so now we're going to die. I spent too much money on swords. Yes, we will openly attack them.
You guys will hold the line and fight them at their camp while I run away. <laughs> and hide in the wood. Oh my god, we got like three guys. We're about to get pooped on. It looks like they're going to storm the village. All we can do is wait. My lord, the horde has wiped out our army. It must have been a bad idea to send the garrison into an open field. Listen, man. Listen. Just because you guys went down the road and stopped instead of hiding in the trees along the side of the road like I thought you were going to, just because you used no tactical sophistication whatsoever, it's not my fault. Execute the general. Women and children, everyone has been destroyed. We didn't protect them. Only a few managed to reach the castle. Good lord, I'm so lucky that my family live here. Greetings from the Lord of the Lands. All right, we're dead. We're dead. It's fine. Let's go again. This feels like it's one of those games where there's like a right solution and a wrong solution to just about everything. And so really, you just got to pick an option each time and hope that it turns out for the best. Apparently, there's death by fire right now. Somebody listened to a Mon Marth too much. Compared to slowly boiling inside a cauldron of abyss. I don't know what a cauldron of abyss is, but it does sound unpleasant. Alright. Let's get moving. Alright, so we've got people that have arrived here. They want to found a village. Yeah, I, I feel like having a village is perfectly fine. I don't mind them building a village. Alright, so we have extra labor resources. We haven't done the mine yet, so let's go for the mine. A mine will help us extract metal or stone. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. So it looks like we've got our chance of getting maybe like gold, metal, and failing. Eh, yeah, sure, we got a gold right there. Sounds good. More gold right there, too. Absolutely, positively. Ooh. Pretty good money right there. Ah, oh, the mine collapsed and took one of the miners with it. You probably overdid it. All right, so we got our mine again. Let's see if we can be like a good miner and survive this thing. Uh, yeah, we got a free weapon right there. That's pretty cool. Lots of fail chances on all sides of us. Sooner or later, this is going to... There's only 2% right there. That's pretty good. Oh, but I can't go back in a direction that I've already gone? Okay. Because this kind of seems like a bad idea. We're getting, like, higher percentages here. Two gold, two weapons. I'll take it. That's fine. That's good enough. I'd like to gamble further, but, like, that's life. All right. So, good morning, my lord. Some citizens would like to come into your throne room to arbitrate their dispute. Um, let's strengthen our defensive line. We will... Sure. Build a tower. Absol wow, that was super expensive. That tower cost me a fortune. The tower with the gates rises high above our valley, even though our enemies could theoretically still kind of just go around it. It does look impressive. Now it's time for a good night's sleep, my lord. Farewell. The sun is shining, my lord. All right, well, let's do some mining first. We got things to, to look at here. I'm going to try and go with the lowest chances that I can. Hey, we got a sword right there off a of 7%. Very nice. Oof, both of these are higher chances. Ah, yep, I knew it. I knew it. I gambled, and now we get nothing. Uh, the mine that you ordered to build has borne fruit. You can use the metal extracted to forge armor for the knights or tools for the farmer. Armor! I want this to be as high as possible before that douche from the Shadowlands shows up. Armor will make our army stronger and minimize casualties during the battle. Our lord, the scout has come back. The horde is very close. Nonetheless, our enemies will be defeated. Our soldiers in their new shining armor are standing upright just like our new tower on the horizon. So they fall over the weight of their armor, of course. I know it's not a good time, but children have started disappearing from the town and it looks like a monster. Okay, so the werewolf is back. Um, how much did the Beast Slayer cost last time? I don't remember what he costed it. Apparently our gold is not enough for us to kill a ghoul. We could pay him with something else. Faith books? I don't need those religious texts. Forget about it. We have nothing to talk. Execute him! I should have executed him, man. I should have executed him. I knew. I had a feeling that he was a guy that needs to be executed. I had a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, defend the tower. 
We'll place our armies in the tower and retreat to the castle when it falls. How does that sound? Sounds good to me, man. I mean, that sounds like the plan. We have like 83 soldiers. So hopefully this turns out pretty good. Well, do what you gotta do, man. Soldiers gave a fight, but retreated when the tower fell as ordered. Now they're on their way back to the castle. Nice. If this doesn't win, I don't know what wins, man. I'm trying to tell you right now, we are on rails at the moment. Most of the peasants managed to escape. That's fine. That's cool. The peasants, as long as they made it out, I'm happy too. I got a feeling we're still going to lose. I bet each one of these takes like 10 power. Hey, we won! Our soldiers have reported that Aro was killed in the battle together with his entire horde. It was a fierce fight. Sadly, the barbarians had nothing of value, but we found a lady amongst the corpses and dead horses. I thought you'd want to have a word with her. Don't be shy. You're standing before our lord and future king. Hmm. As you wish. My lord, let me introduce. This is... I can speak for myself. I am Aini. Sister of Kalahar Aro, who perished in the abyss of centuries, and I am the Kalahasa of the Shadowlands, flamekeeper of the ancient honoring Kanapar's spirit. I am the one who sings the sacred hymn of Mother Earth's everlasting ritual. I am a princess, as you would call me. My lord, what should we do with her? What were your orders be? Uh, obviously she just rode against my people and had no problem sacking my kingdom and murdering my civilians, so she might be the keeper of the flame, but now she's gonna be the feeder of the soil. Have fun! Yep, have fun being mulch. <laughs> it was a hard day, but at least we can relax now. Sweet dreams, my lord. Good morning, my lord. We suffered great losses after yesterday's battle. Our people are asking to bury their dead. What should we do? We'll do funeral fires. That's fine. We'll burn the dead to commemorate them as did those before us. Glory to the one true God. My lord, there is news, even great news. The miners have obtained plenty of metal to be sold and help repair damaged armor. We're getting better by the day, sire. And then a religious missioner is asked for a hearing. He says it's important. All right. I greet you, my lord. I am a wandering monk and I have come here as soon as I learned that you survived the Kalahar's attack. I have walked through your streets in shock, and the people are filled with grief and pain. They are unhappy, and I can help them, Lord. What should I do? Um, let's go ahead and... I don't know what reading a sermon is going to do. Probably increase our religiosity, drive the sadness away. Let's do that. My Lord, the missioner danced for your people, and I saw them smile for the first time since the battle's end. My lord, follow me. Look just through the window. Look at that astonishing sunset. I've never seen something so beautiful. Even the peasants have left the huts and are looking on. The day has been fruitful, my lord. I wish you a good night. Good morning, your grace. It's time for some important decisions to be made. We can fix the structures that the Kalahar destroyed during the battle, but the repairs will cost us a fair amount. Should we fix them, my lord? Yeah, go for it. We don't have enough gold to fix the structures. We could use something in place of them. It may be even more expensive. Eh, no, it's fine. We don't have any money. We don't have any money. By ancient tradition, a king must be heir to the throne and must have a wife. And though the tradition is not constant, it's better to stick to it so that your reign is legitimate. What will you say? Will you organize a wedding? Sure, why not? Very well, my lord. How will we pick a princess? What kind of marriage do you seek? Um, a political marriage. We're kind of like wrecked right now and we need help. But it's noble for you, sire. A political marriage will strengthen the country on the world map, but there are many potential brides. Which one should I find for you? Uh, powerful, please. In the upcoming wars, we will need strong allies. A powerful princess will give us either a strong army or omnipotent magic. Powerful princesses. Let's see here. All right, so I can think of Princess Reyna of the Norsemen, Princess Thetra from the Darklands, and Princess Mursula from the Blue Islands. We need a Nord woman. That's what we need right there. We need a good, strong Nord woman who worships Talos. She's a giant like any other Northman. Nordic people value honor and splendor. The Northmen have long taken control of the gnome miners. As such, they are rich, although they do not value their acquired gold. They give it to Taurus, their god of strength. And besides this, Reyna is a great warrior, strong as an entire army. Yeah, dude, death by snoo-snoo. Let's go. 
My lord, the courtiers are getting ready, swoon by rumors about you getting married, but for the marriage to be allowed in the eyes of the church, the wedding has to be carried out by the great shepherd of Etikan, although his position on this is unknown. Shall we keep the tradition? Ah, uh, we'll go with a monk. Yes, sir, you were right. The law states that your wedding can get carried out by the local priest. Let us hurry. I will start preparations. My lord, today was a fruitful day. You're damn right it was. I married a giant. Good morning, my lord. Today is very important for you. Your wedding and coronation. It's so beautiful. I have no words. Your princess should have arrived at the castle already. Lord, I am Reyna, and I am happy to see you. I am a warrior and the strongest among the white rock. I value strength, will, and dignity. I wear a horned helmet, and I look for the same qualities in my one and only. Well, girl, I happened to get a horned helmet just yesterday on eBay. How you doing? Northmen and humans have not always been friendly, human lord. If I wanted, I could destroy this entire castle and all of your little warriors, but I will not. The great chief said that no human has made a proposal to a Nordic giant for over a thousand years. I will not reject your request, human. It is my burden. Aw, oh, man. I'm a burden? That feels bad. I didn't want to be a burden. Greetings, lord. I am Hannes, the local priest, and I believe we can begin the ceremony. Usually the bond between the king, queen, and the one god must be witnessed by the great shepherd in order to crown a lord. However, in the shepherd's book, it is said that any servant of the one god can perform the coronation ceremony. We have come here together to tie our future king and queen in the bond of marriage. Do you agree to respect each other and rule wisely and fairly? I do. Then I hereby pronounce you king and queen, husband and wife. May the one god aid you in the rule of this land. Your majesty, there are guests. Some lords have arrived to congratulate you on your coronation. Your highness... Accept this gift from the Earldom of Delover. Long rule the king. Happy to hear that the nation is finally getting a new king. Here is my gift for the occasion. Long years for the new king. Your Majesty, the people want a big celebration to honor the coronation. We could sort of feast, but it will cost us a bit. I haven't done my mining yet. That's what I need to do. Dude, collapsed on an 8%? Shenanigans, dude. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Fetch the broom. The amount of mine collapses I've had on like 4% rolls. I'm trying to tell you. This game is cheesing the dice, bro. Cheesing the dice. My name is Splattercat. This is King Sim. You can get the game down below in the description if you wanted to get it for yourself. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more. Aside from that, I will have more indie games for you tomorrow. Make sure you check out the Discord. It's very, very easy. Discord.gg slash Splattercat Gaming. Check out the Twitch stream. All those links are for you down below. Hi, do and take care, everybody. I'll see you next time.